what's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video. Today we're going to be playing with a Quagsire Naganadel deck. That's right, the Naganadel from Lost Thunder is so good and it actually pairs so well with Quagsire that we can actually play a water type deck that it does very well. So you already know that charging up gets a basic energy from the discard pile to Naganadel. Well, with Quagsire, uh, with the washout ability, we can just move that water energy to one of our active Pokemon just from the bench all the way to the active. We have a couple of attackers here. We have Suicune, which uh, is actually also so they can just uh, swap itself back in the deck uh, with its Phantom Wind's ability if it's on the bench to cure off all the damage. Of course, it also has Cure Stream dealing 120 damage, become a little bit uh, more buff thanks to uh, the uh, side effect here during the opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon attacks deal 30 less damage uh, to Suicune, which is awesome. And also the uh, Brynacles GX actually deals 150 with Choice Band, that's 180, that's a uh, Tapu Lele potential knockout. So uh, what we're gonna do is just set up our Naganadels. Get, uh, of course, the charging up ability going on, and with that washout, we're gonna keep our energies in play every single turn. We even have Volcanium Prism start to just get uh, water energies in the discard pile. We even have, of course, things like Sophocles and these sites here to put uh, to have those energies uh, get in the discard quicker. We even have one copy of Aqua Patch because sometimes that might make a difference on the uh, yeah, if you can get that energy in play. Uh, if sometimes it just knock out your Nagadals and you're just oh, I wish I had like one extra attachment on the turn. Well, with Aqua Patch, you can just attach to one of the water type Pokemon on the bench. We have Marshadow Jackson here, of course, for the Zoroark matchups. Zoroark is still very uh, uh, prominent in the format right now, and uh, we can copy the attacks of any basic. That could be uh, the attack of, uh, yeah, not Volcanium Prism Star, because that, that one goes to the loss one, but we can copy Blizzard Burn from the Lab Press, or, uh, of course, the Cure Stream of Suicune Jack. So that is what we're gonna be uh, capable to do. We also have Onyx as a Zoroark counter to just uh, get all those energies onto Onyx, and then bam, strike out of nowhere. But of course, this one only has 120 HP. It's all actually situational at best. And we have Little Prism Star, which can evolve into Naganadel or of course Quagsire. I uh, think this is going to be very fun to try out so uh, if you guys are ready we're gonna go ch jump di diving into uh, the uh, versus ladder here and uh, see if we can just find some crazy opponents. Let's see Quagsire Naganadel. I have to say that in the Roanoke regionals there was uh, a Quagsire Naganadel list that got into the top 64 so that's uh, at least uh, worth considering. We do see that the opponent is running grass, darkness, water, so presumably I think this is going to be the stage why I am not sure quite yet. We even lost the coin flip, so things are not uh, going well from the bat. We are weak to grass with most of our uh, attackers here. At least we have... Do we start with Poipol? I think starting with Poipol is better since uh, the Weep Whooper is actually uh, the thing we're gonna be needing uh, as quickly as possible. We're also gonna just bench it. And we have Ultra Roll to get rid of two water energies entirely, which is gonna be awesome. That way we can, uh, yeah, see how this will turn out. Okay, Hoopa. Uh, Hoopa is uh, kind of annoying with the Scandrel card. Uh, this is going to be a stall deck, I think. Hoopa the CGI. No idea. The, the person is actually using the uh, the Gladion on the first turn. That makes me kind of scratch my head. Like, what is going on here? Is he going to attack with Hoopa? Who knows? But we have uh, one prize attackers uh, at our uh, disposal, so we are going to use the Ultra Ball. We're going to be getting rid of the uh, two Water Energies, which seems to be fine. Uh, let's just check here what we are going to get out. The bad thing is that we didn't include a Tapu Lele in the list. That could also work out, but uh, uh, as seen from the top 64 list. They also did not run a Tapu Lele GX, so we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, there's actually a lot of things we can use here. We have Ultra Bolt, Mysterious Treasure to this list actually tries to set up slowly. So what I am going to do here is try and get another Pokemon in play. I think the best plan of action is getting another Ditto Prism Star, although Volcanium Prism Star could also be kind of neat to just uh, go with. So we're just gonna get this on board, a Ditto, and uh, we're also gonna be attaching one Water Energy to... Ah, how much damage does Quagsire deal? That's going to be 120, so I'm definitely gonna attach it to the Whooper right here, and we're just gonna end turn. The cool thing is that uh, we can also get the energy uh, to, of course, the uh, Poipol immediately. So Steven's Resolve, is he gonna go for Hammers? Is this going to be uh, one of those lists that relies on Hammers? Imagine yourself if we just uh, played one tap with Lady Jax, we could have gotten like a Lily off, but it is not what it is. <laughs> And here we have, uh, hopefully we don't break here, we have Quagsire and we have Naganadel. So at least we can do a, a little bit of shenanigans here. We're gonna be two-shotting that Hoopa regardless. So I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, charging up. As you can see, this deck relies on uh, using the ability of Naganadel. And then of course we can use the washout ability to just get that energy onto the uh, Naganadel right there. 
And we also have the attachment of the turn, so we're kind of good on that department. And we're going to be two-shotting it with turn point. It only deals 60 damage, of course, because uh, we are... Uh, yeah, this guy has resistance, so I think in the next game, I might just include one Tapu Lele Jax. Because uh, look at this, we are going to break uh, eventually. And this is going to be a stall deck with Regigigas. Hopefully... He doesn't discard too much energies. The good news is, if we have another Naganadel out, it doesn't even bother us too much if he just discards those energies. And this is going to be with Wishy Washy as well. Ooh, Acer Walla coming along, and he's going for the Wishy Washy stall mechanic. What are we gonna do? Okay, we have two Naganadel, so that is fantastic. There's still one energy in the discard pile, so we might as well uh, retreat and start attacking with the Quagsire here. I think that might also be a kind of a neat idea because that way we two-shot this uh, wishy-washy which is kind of a huge tank. It does stay as often as you like so we can just safely retreat into the Quagsire. We give up one energy which is not as bad as it seems because we can get it back with charging up immediately. And now that I think about it uh, we can use the washout ability here and uh, get as many energies as we possibly please to the Quagsire in this scenario. So we're gonna use it. Oh yeah, you have to click on it uh, multiple times. We're, uh, we're just gonna get this energy as well. We actually only need uh, three energies to get ourselves going. I don't think he's gonna be running things like... Yeah, and Fighting Fury Belt is only an expander, so I don't... I'm not afraid here. We could attach another energy to Quagsire. That could work out now that I think about it. How, the more energies we have, the better. Otherwise, we might just uh, be stranded in a, in a situation where we don't have energies. So now Quagsire will be able to dish out Hydro Pump for 140 damage. And that is definitely going to be two-shotting this Wishy Washy. He needs to rely on Max Potion. And the good news is, and our strategy, even if he discards all of our energies, we can get them back immediately with the, the Naganadel. So Naganadel, in combination with Washout, is going to be a crazy combo against Stall decks. Not only that, you uh, dish Weakness. Yeah, deal out Weakness against things like Blacephalon. And also uh, against uh, things like Boswell with Naganadel. So uh, with the Choice Band, this can actually dish out quite a number of damage and the opponent concedes. So as you can see, the combo works. That is something definitely uh, I'm uh, kind of glad that I got to showcase that it actually works. And I'm actually going to put in one Tapu Lele GX. Not only are you going to add consistency in this list, you're also going to be getting yourself another attacker. So Tapu Lele is going to be uh, the case here. I also don't want to start with Marshadow GX. So I think I'm just going to cut it. We do have two rescue treasures to get our onyx back and getting uh, lots of energies in play is not as hard as it seems so i'm gonna cut this one and we're gonna be adding in one tapu lele gx i think uh, that is a nice strategy uh, entirely you cannot rely on of course uh, the uh, professor elm in this deck because all of your weak basics have 70 hp so we're gonna be playing all around with quagsire Nagadel. hopefully this time around we won't break and actually if even if we break that scenario was very good it's not good against all decks but against that uh, soul deck they could not do anything about it there's going to be a Gramble list. Uh, what are we going to do against Gramble? They are playing Shrine of Punishment, so I do think we're going to have to uh, strike with our other attackers. Uh, we do have some uh, attackers that can dish out some numbers here, but we need to dish out 130 damage because Gramble has that amount of HP. It could be very nasty, and uh, I think... Yeah, this is kind of a neat strategy. We already have, of course, our Sophocles getting energies in the discard pile. I think I'm going to go heavily on the... Uh, yeah, and the Naga Nadal combo here, so let's just, uh, we're also gonna bench those, we can start, why not do that? Dishing out 130, who can do that? Lapras can do that, but it also gets one shot up thanks to, uh, the all-out attack of Gramble, so I don't know if Gramble is a great matchup for this kind of deck, but Blacephalon, uh, most, uh, definite is. Most definitely is a good matchup. Okay, we have the eye opener which you can use to look at our phrase down prize card But in this scenario, I don't think that's going to be too helpful. So we get uh, another mysterious treasure. So that is fantastic Okay, we even have a Cynthia to back uh, that up so we can actually uh, rely on the mysterious treasure get out a lots of Pokemon out of the deck We are be we're gonna be getting out another Poipole, I think Three Naganadels, only one Quagsire. I don't know if getting out another one of those is going to be helpful at all. Eh, I'm just gonna get it out for now. We could use Sophocles, get another energy in the discard pile. I don't think Onyx, Onyx is pretty useless in this matchup. And next turn we are gonna be able to use Cynthia. So I think that is the best strategy for now. Let's just do this. Bam! And we get lots of things immediately. So I think... We can start first, so I do think we are going to be able... Uh, we definitely need our uh, choice band, forget about that, forget about Lily. We are going to be getting out our 
whooper here. There we go. Hopefully we are going to be able to get this combo going, otherwise things will turn out nasty. We already have one energy. The only thing we need is a Naganadel and an energy. So that might not seem too hard to one-shot this uh, little snubble. Then we also get out, of course, our uh, Quagsire and then we have full control over our board position. And the uh, Snubble is kind of threatening us because if he can, he can also go for the Make a Mess, but I will not one shot us. But with two Snubble out, we're definitely going to be seeing a second turn a Gramble from the opponent. And he still needs to the, clean out his entire hand in order to make it uh, work successfully. Even three Snubble. So maybe we can uh, change the focus here and go on the uh, uh, attack on the Slugma. That could happen. And we have a Sightseer. I think in this scenario, the best plan of action is going at full offensive and going after that Naganadel. This Naganadel will make sure that if we draw into one energy at, of course, the Cynthia, we're gonna be good. Or a Quagsire and a Naganadel, that combo could also work out successfully. So here we have all of our stuff. We have the Quagsire. We even have the energy, so we can work with that. Oh yeah, Quagsire can one-shot uh, uh, the Grandbulls if we have four energies in total. But that's going to be very hard to pull off, in my opinion. But it could work if we can get out multiple Naganadels. So in this situation, I'm just going to go for this. Bam! We have three energies attached. And uh, the Lele is something I don't want to bench here. So we're just going to go and uh, go with the turning point attack. We get a one-shot on a Schnabel. I wonder if he's going to be able to respond. If he gets out my cargo, things will turn out badly. He might have an Apricorn Maker in the hand. The good news is we are not a, uh, a two-shotting machine here at this point. We don't have GXs with us, but as soon as he goes onto the Gramble, it's going to be very difficult to just one-shot that. Oh boy, we could Guzma. That is something we can do, but we don't have other Naganadels. We already used two Mysterious Treasures, so we definitely need to get more of those out in order to uh, do some crazy stuff. He has McCargo. We don't see Oranguru just yet. He went full offensive with uh, the Schnabels. Maybe Oranguru is prized. We don't know that for sure. If he cannot get out another... Uh, uh, if he not, uh, cannot respond at this point, I think we're gonna have the game here if we target down these uh, McCargo. Oh, Ultra Ball is coming along, so he's definitely gonna be uh, using... Uh, that to get himself Oranguru. Oranguru. Yeah, Oranguru is here. So now he has the control with, of course, the Smooth Over and Instruct. He might get himself a Gramble and uh, make himself safe for a one shot, or he can get himself an energy. I don't see any energies as of. Oh, one energy in the discard already. Ooh. And it's going to be very hard. I don't know if he's gonna be able to pull it off. And uh, the Smooth Over. Now he needs to make his hand. Uh, oh, energy, Granbull, and is that a card that he can play? Is it a card that he can... Okay, Dumbbells as well, wow. Now we're in a lot of trouble. In a lot of trouble. So, at this point, this guy will be uh, doing 160 damage every single turn. So, what uh, are we going to do here? We can, of course, use Naganadel. Let's get rid of a Lily. With Naganadel, we of course are gonna be able to grab some energies. Do we lose my hair? Nah, we need more resources. Ah, this is going to be very difficult. One energy over here. Yeah. We don't have enough energy, so Cynthia is gonna be the best plan of action. We have whoopers, we, all, we have lots of good stuff here. Not an aqua patch, unfortunately, so let's get this on board. Let's get that on board. We have another Naganadal, which we can grab to get energies onto it. Hmm. First things first, let's charge this guy up. Whoa, 170 is going to be way too difficult to handle. The rescue stretcher as well. Put this in the hand. And we might as well... This guy can just dish out 150. That's still not enough. If we use the charging up, we can retreat and let... Yeah, that way we can sacrifice a little whooper, I think. Charging up. 
can attack, but that's going to be not a two shot, but a three shot. So that is not a very uh, good decision. So we will just retreat into a whooper and let that whooper uh, just uh, explode in his face, I think. And that is the last plan of action. 170, that's crazy, man. That uh, bodybuilding dumbbells is gonna make sure that we're not gonna do anything useful. Uh, the good news is this guy can dish out 160 as soon as we have three prize cards. That is going to be very comfortable to know. Could have also gotten out lab press if it's uh, it's a GX which gives up two prize cards and he can definitely one shot that thanks to choice band. There's also already a Gramble line in the discard pile. But this guy definitely runs Dianta, so he can definitely get back his bodybuilding dumbbells and this Gramble list will pretty much overrun our deck. So I do think that is not a good matchup, but as you see, the washout ability is very, very nice. At the, the next turn, we will be able to have four energies uh, in total. One from this guy, one from this guy, then an energy of the turn. We might even get another Nagnatel to get more energies from the discard pile. And then that washout will dish out crazy amounts of damage. Oh boy. Suicune does sound nice, but with the, cho the choice bands that Gramble has, it's going to be one-shotting Gramble. Although, during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon dishes out 30 less damage. So, that is very interesting. All out. Okay, boom. We got destroyed, pretty much. So, are we gonna take the risk and go with the heavy Quagsire? He's definitely gonna respond and all of our energies will be gone, but I'm ah, just gonna go for it. Let's go. Let's do this. We have a Tate and Liza. We have a Suicune. Bam. Do we smack down the Suicune? Nah, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Let's go. We could use the Tate and Liza and attack with Suicune GX, but we don't get the one shot, which is very annoying. So let's hope for the best. With the Cynthia, we have an Ultra Ball. We have a Brooklyn Hill, so that is very, very nice. With Brooklyn Hill, we can get ourselves whatever we want. Let's use Ultra Ball. We're gonna get rid of another energy and. Yeah, let's get rid of this Whooper. Hmm. Volcanian Prism Star. 120 on everything. Does sound nice, but we will get one shot again. Now that I think about it, shouldn't destroy that. Actually, I gave up that Whooper. Now that I think about it. Oh boy. We should have definitely kept that whooper. Definitely. At least we're gonna be able to one shot. Hopefully we can use like something like a Guzma and uh, target something. He only has one Schnubble left. Probably gonna smack down another one soon. Definitely should have kept that whooper. Ah. Oh boy. We're gonna wash out. For now, we're gonna be able to dish out 120. Then another wash out. 140. Another wash out. 160. And then another wash out. And that's going to be 180. 80. So that dumbbells definitely uh, caused us a lot of havoc. I, we don't have any ho whoopers left, I think. Don't think so. If I use Brooklyn Hill, I can check. So let's use Brooklyn Hill. I don't think I have another whooper ha left. Do have a, a Volcanium Prism Star, but ah, uh, no whoopers. We're definitely gonna have to take one from the prize cards, hopefully. But at least this Hydro Pump will get, get the KO. So look at it, like Quagsire can dish out quite a, uh, the amount of damage. Let's think about it, that against GX's. Fantastic, right? And now we are in a difficult situation where he's definitely gonna overrun us. So Granbrill, not a great matchup for this deck, but you see the potential that it has with the washout and the uh, charging up. And I, I definitely should have not thrown away that whooper. This is definitely gonna be difficult here. Now he's gonna respond once again with an all out and we are gonna be in a nasty situation. The good news is he has a two two line of Granbrill in there. He might have lots of rescue stretches, but we don't see that as of yet. But definitely let me know in the comment section what you think about this deck. Uh, got in the top 64, so it must be doing something right. 
we have to agree against uh, Boswell, you have a great matchup, and of course against Blastophalon. So against those two decks, you have a great matchup, thanks to of course Quagsire and Naganadel. Oh boy. Two Orangurus, and Makargo is definitely going to be able to uh, empty his hand. How many energies in his discard pile? Two. Probably still has five left. Apricorn Maker. That is going to be Ultra Ball and Nest Ball, if I had to guess here. Great Ball and what was that? Was it an Ultra Ball? I don't know. Maybe there's no two Ultra Ball sprites. That would be fantastic. If our Quagsire miraculously survives, if he cannot empty his hand, it would be great, but I doubt it. He's definitely gonna be able to do it. Two Great Balls. Little Prism Star. That is good for him. That can evolve into everything he possibly wants. Maybe we should throw in a little muck in this deck just to just block those Grand Ball shenanigans. Bodybuilding Dumbbells again. Oof. Instruct. Oh boy. Oh boy, don't empty your hand, don't empty your hand. Please let us survive this hit. Then I just gotta retreat my uh, Quagsire because I don't want him seeing the discard anytime soon. Since we don't have a backup whooper and our, uh, we only have one rescue stretcher left in the deck, we might get that, but it will be a turn too late. So Gramble, I don't know. Yeah, he just passes the turn, that is fantastic. We even have Aqua Patch, so uh, the best plan of action is just to start spreading some damage with Sonal Blast so our attacks dish out more damage in the end. So I think I'm just gonna go for a manual retreat. I think that sounds fine to just save our Quagsire. Bam! We are gonna be using the uh, Aqua Patch as well. Now that we can, we're gonna use the Charging Up. Bam! We have lots of things in play. We could go for a Tapu Lily play. And one shot a Macargo. Is that a good plan? That way we bring in a GX though. But this guy does not have a choice band. So I think getting out that GX, we don't see Shrine either. We still have Brooklyn Hills left. So is Tapu Lele in there? Where the Lapras is in there? Tapu Lele, where you at? Tapu Lele. Yeah, Tapu Lele is in there, Guzma is in there. I think that's the best plan of action, getting rid of that Macargo. Although, do we get out the GX right now? He can get all the sorts of tricks with Macargo. Hmm, he might have a rescue stretcher and get Macargo anyhow. I think I'm just gonna knock out the Snowball pick. I think this is going to be the best plan of action. Washing out. I don't know what you guys would have done in this situation. I wonder. Who's gonna spread the uh, energies onto the uh, Volcanion. So our Quagsire can be set up very nicely to one shot the upcoming Snubble, or actually the Grand Bull. And now we're just gonna use the Sightseer. We're gonna get rid of all the cards in the hand. We're definitely gonna be uh, getting that Guzma soon, so poof. He might have the bodybuilding dumbbells, but this Naganadel will one-shot the upcoming Granville, so I'm not afraid too much. So we're just gonna give that choice band to, I think. Yeah, let's give it to Quagsire. Let's go all out with this Quagsire. And uh, we even have an attachment of the turn, which I am going to be giving to yeah, Naganadel. I don't think he's gonna target this Naganadel anytime soon. And we even have Jet Geyser if we want to target something else. So <laughs> he says, hello, bam, here, hello. Hello in your face. And we get a water energy. So even if he one shots our Volcanion, we can respond with Naganadel, and then next turn we can respond with a Quagsire if he gets out another Gramble. But it looks like three Snubble and two Gramble in the discard pile. It's gonna be hard for him to come back. He has this, this little Prism Star, which can evolve, of course, into the uh, Almighty Gramble. Oh boy. Kind of a turning point. So if Gramble fizzles out, you can always reclaim a game like we did right here. And look at all those energies in play. You might even play like the Palkia GX in certain decks. Like think think about our Rayquaza deck where just swipe all the energies out of the out of the board. That would be fantastic. All sorts of water type attackers can find it, uh, their home in this type of deck. Volcanion. We can use Jet Geyser if we cannot one shot it. We can use the uh, Hydro Pump to one shot it. We can use the uh, Turning Point, which we can now uh, successfully uh, dish out 160 again. And he has 20 damage on his uh, Ditto, which makes it the wait makes the math perfect. So that uh, Volcanion was definitely a great option. 
Could have also targeted a Mark Cargo. I was actually doubting to go for Macargo, but he has another Schnubble right there. Even that 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 ditto, so I think that is the best plan of action, getting rid of all his Schnubble. He had to use Rescue Stretcher right here. We do see Apricorn Maker again. We're gonna see Nazball and Ultra Ball. Or if we don't see Ultra Ball, I think there's two Ultra Ball Prize. Nazball? I think there's two Ultra Ball Prize for a deck like this. This is very, very, yeah, risky, I could think. So Schnubble shows up. Does he have energy? Does he have Gramble? That is the question. Can he thin out his hand? Rescue Stretcher again. Is he gonna grab a Gramble? He's grabbing a Gramble. Is that last card in his hand an energy? Is that going to be an energy? Smooth over? Okay. Without Ultra Balls, I wonder if he's gonna be able to play out his hand completely. Here we go. Instruct. Bam. He's getting the energy. Does he can can he just thin out his hand? Mysterious treasure. Okay, perfectly. He's getting rid of an energy. And that is going also gonna be an energy. Yeah, fantastic. Well played, but he also got rid of lots of energies here. How many? Three in the discard. Next uh here comes Nagadatel. The one and only, he's here. Now we can Guzma. But I want to get I want to get rid of his brambles, man. I think that is Always the best plan of action. In this rescue stretcher, we cannot get anything back. Maybe a whooper. A whooper would be good to just preserve all of our stuff. So let's get rid of that whooper in play. We could have shuffled two of them in, but eh, you know how that goes. We are gonna be using the charging up to get our energy back. All the charge ups are gonna take place right here. Another charge up. And another charge up. So we have lots of energies in play. I don't even know what to do with all of them. We even have Guzma to target Macargo down. He only has... Yeah, he already has the energy. So I didn't think that's a good plan. Gonna give an energy to... Eh, to this Whooper. That's good. And now we're gonna use the shuffle mechanic of Tate and Lila. Believe it or not. Look at all those energies. We even have two Brooklyn Hills. So we might get our GXs on board sooner than we think. And here comes the turning point for 160. Bam! We're getting the prize race KO here. And now we have to have consistent KOs. That is, or we have two Guzmas. That's going to be game B. Because this guy only has 70 HP. That means a Naganadal can knock it out. And the uh, Quagsire can one-shot the upcoming Gramble, which one-shots our Naganadal, which can get back two energy. So I think from now on it's going to be game, but things can happen very quickly. He can target the Quagsire, but we have another Quagsire ready, I think. I think there's still one left in the deck. There's only one in play. So kind of a good matchup seeing one prize was, uh, up against each other. The only thing that Gramble failed is like one turn that it cannot attack and, and then things fall apart. Another Gramble. Or actually another Schnubble showing up. I think I won't sacrifice all of my energies. I think I'm just gonna target this Schnubble down. Or actually, this Macargo. This Macargo actually is a little bit better. We do, we do have two Guzma, so all out again, getting the KO. I think I am going to go for... Let's just promote this. And let's charge up all the energies once again. I actually want my, to use my Suicune here, but against those one prize attacking decks, not always the best plan, right? Suicune. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attack deal 30 less damage. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not gonna be doing that, so we're just gonna target down. Hmm. Schnubble, ah, actually Macargo. I am definitely gonna target Macargo here and don't wanna see that guy anymore. Haha. <laughs> that will make our life a little bit easier. Let's see, Brooklyn Hill, what do we have left? There's still a Quagsire in the deck. That is good news. We have sides here, we're definitely gonna be able to draw into that, so let's just not get out of GX in this turn. Our gonna go with a turning point. Get out of here, Macargo. 
And now he can one shot our Naganadel. He can definitely do that, but we have lots of energies in place, so that Gramble will go down eventually thanks to Quagsire. He can also target down Quagsire, but we have the uh, Guzma to one shot another Slugma or whatever we feel like. So this is going to be game. Look at all those cards in the Lost Zone, crazy. So Quagsire Naganadel prevails after all. I do think the one inclusion of the uh, Tapu Lele GX is always an interesting thing. You don't always need it, but okay, he's targeting down the Quagsire. But we have a Guzma ready, haha. <laughs> but we can even get another Quagsire in play anyhow. Do we do that? I don't know. We're gonna draw a card, we're gonna be able to use Brooklyn Tail. We might even use Lapras. We might even use Lapras. Or the Sweet Queen GX. Huh, we have so many options we can use uh, Guzma, so. We are gonna be saying well played, I think. We have a Guzma ready, but I want to destroy him with our Sweet Moon. So if we don't draw Lapras, we can draw our entire deck with sides here. We don't draw Lapras, so we get out Lapras. So now we have one, two, three, four, five cards left in the deck. So let's get everything on board. Let's get our Sweet Moon, get some screen time over here. And Suicune will finish the deal here, so uh, we are gonna be able to use Sights here, get rid of all of our resources. And we're drawing our entire deck here. Here we go. Now we retreat. We can even use Charging Up once again. We have the Quagsire, so Suicune GX will be finishing the deal here in this video. We're gonna give it, give it an energy. We're gonna be using the Washout. Uh, the energy on the Quagsire can go over there. Energy from the Naganadel. Wow, we're charging up again. Wow, what are we doing? We need to use Wash Out. I misclicked there a little bit. Wash Out. One energy from over there. All the energies come back thanks to Naganadel. And that's how Suicune is actually kind of viable. So now we use our Jax move and finish the game. Get out of here, Gramble. And we're gonna switch on to the Quagsire for the memes of it. Bam! That's how this deck is working. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, enjoyed our video on the channel. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button as always. Subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content deck list and all the good stuff. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.